What's up guys, Chris with Man here, uh, doing a quick video because I got some cool stuff in the mail today, plus I went to a uh, buddy of mine called me on the phone this afternoon and told me he found some comics at a flea market just right up the street from me that I had no clue was there, so the um, lady was selling them for a dollar a piece, so I definitely had to jump up there and pick up some stuff, and I'm probably going to go back tomorrow or the next day and get some more, so uh, anyways, let me jump on this real quick because I don't want to make this some big long trot out video, but I did another trade with uh, Blade Man, uh, Blade Nine One 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 Zero Zero. I think it is. I'll put his uh, link in my um, in the little description below. But you've seen plenty of trade videos with uh, he and I, and um, it's just an excellent dude to trade with. Very uh, very fast shipping. Always uh, pads everything up correctly. And this time, I had some records I wanted to trade, and he he saw a few he liked, so he. He does beautiful paintings, and uh, I really, really recommend y'all checking those out. He um, is uh, a very good artist, and uh, I appreciate good art. So he uh, did me a Molinier, um painting, and uh, I'll show that to you now. So this is it right here. This thing is awesome. Um, very proud of this thing, man. You did a great job on this thing. I saw the video when you first showed it. And, looks so much better in real person. I, I'm, I'm super excited about this. Um, gotta find me a cool spot to put it on my wall, so um, probably gonna be over here next to my comic book shelf behind me in the background there. I'm, I'm probably gonna put it on the wall back there next to that, so uh, at the end of the, vis the video that I'm doing now, I'm going to um, drop a couple of still photos that I took of um, I got my Bernie on my Walt Simonson. Can't talk tonight. My Walt Simonson Thors and my Bernie Wrightsons all framed and hanging on the wall now, so they look really good up here. I'm super excited how my kind of my comic space right here is turning out. Um, also, you'll see my cool Highlander videos that I've talked about in the other video, and kind of a better shot, more clear shot of how I stack my comics and and sort them and whatnot and. Uh, there's one shot of that Popeye up there that I wanted everybody to see. It's a cast iron Popeye from the 40s. It was my grandmother's, and that thing's super awesome. You just don't see stuff like that anymore. But anyways, also with that painting, um, he gave me uh, issue 249 of the Mighty Thor. Um, very cool book. It's uh, This is actually it's either the issue right before or a couple issues before. I think it was issue 2... 51 is when they started going to 30 cent covers so uh, there was actually a variant of this cover where it was a 30 cent cover so you know it's kind of cool too so it's another kind of turning point in the Thor series so uh, yeah that's issue uh, issue 249 very cool appreciate that trade man I'm sure we'll do another one in the future so uh, um, thanks a lot now to uh, Show you the books I found for a dollar at the uh, this flea market place. Um, I couldn't believe they were. She, I mean, she was selling this stuff for a dollar, and I, honestly, I was kind of disappointed too with some of the stuff. She had books nailed to the wall and all that kind of stuff, and I was just like, "Oh man, how can you do this?" And um, so I found the best ones and went with it. And I'm a big Vampirella fan, and she had a bunch of Vampirella books, so I grabbed up all the ones she had. So. This is uh, issue number 13 of Vengeance of Vampirella. Very cool cover there. Always like Vampirella covers. Uh, you, know, you can't go wrong with that. <laughs> um, a couple of these, let's see. I don't, I haven't got to them yet, but uh, I'll show you. Grant Morrison wrote two of the um, two of the Vampirella books, which I didn't know he wrote for Vampirella, so that's cool too. And I'll show you those here in a minute. Uh, this is issue number one of Vampirella Strikes, and it's actually got a, um, it's a live uh, model that posed as Vampirella. That's pretty cool. You know, they, they did that on a few of her covers where actually had a <clears throat> live person take the pictures for it. That's pretty cool. Um, this is a issue number one Vampirella pinup special. It was a, uh, like a one-shot thing, and it's nothing but just really cool paintings of Vampirella on the inside that's it's more like an art book basically so 
new storyline, just all the umbrella pictures, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, this one is one of the Grant Morrison books I was telling you about. It's uh, issue two of eight of the whole Holy War. Um, I guess that was some some kind of storyline they were going with. But uh, it's uh, Out of Vampirella Monthly number five. There we go. Another nice cover. And. This is the other uh, Grant Morrison. This is Vampirella Monthly number eight. And then they had an issue number four of Vampirella Classic, which one day I'm going to try to get the actual Vampirella magazines. I'd really love to own some of those. And this is, I think, based off of those, this reprints of that. Um, another live shot with the, the model and you can tell just by the way she looks it's almost like a kind of 60s style of hairdo and makeup type thing laying on a tiger rug on the ground so <laughs> pretty cool all right and these are the cool finds i i mean those are awesome but i mean i couldn't believe these were in here for a dollar they're not in, by any means in like pristine or even really good shape for that matter. I'd probably rate them as poor to poor to possibly good on some of them, but the covers are faded really bad. This is issue 165 of uh, Superman. Let's see how bad faded that cover is. But I figure for a dollar, I mean, it's well intact. It's just covers were really bad faded, so really cool to get that. Um, this is issue number 174 of Superman. Like I said, all these were just a dollar. That one's actually in really good shape. It's got a stuff here in the middle. Kind of rough, but other than that, not bad at all. And then this is uh, the action comic, which was in my title. This is issue 321. It's in really good shape too. It's got some stuff up here in the top where it looks like something faded through onto the cover. Like maybe it was sitting underneath something. But, uh, you know, for a buck I couldn't pass it up. So I think I got a pretty good deal on that. And then I also got Superman's Girlfriend Lois Lane issue number 55. And it also got a fairly decent cover. It's got some wear on it and like some water damage or something down here but they're all intact and all the pages and everything are there so uh, you know like I said for a dollar you can't go wrong on that so they got a bunch of um, 60 cent cover flash books and if y'all know anything about that let me know because she only wants a dollar for those two so <clears throat> so if y'all think that's worth picking up for a dollar let me know in the comments below <coughs> excuse me and then last, the only Thor book she had there was uh, Thor Annual number 9. So, of course, I had to pick that up. And it's in really good shape. So, luckily, it wasn't exposed to any kind of sunlight or water or anything like that. So, happy that, you know, that survived the tragedy of all these Supermans and stuff. But and I'm not even a Superman fan, so it's, it's not like I'm getting them because I'm totally excited to read Superman. I just knew they were really old and for a buck I couldn't pass it up. So, And also there's a bunch of G.I. Joe magazines. I don't know what printing but they look like maybe first series. I don't know. Y'all let me know if those would be worth checking out too. I'm not sure of the values on that kind of stuff. But uh, anyway, so thanks for watching. Um, probably won't have another video unless I pick up some more stuff at this flea market. So. Uh, until then, I guess I will talk to y'all later. Have a good weekend and take care.